What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'll be showing you how to make backings in Photoshop for banners, posters, headers, avatars, anything you really need. Um, this method is really quick, really easy, gives good results. Um, a lot of ways you can do it, you get varied things, it's not ever the same thing really. Uh, I've noticed, unless you obviously do the exact same thing, but usually uh, when I do this I don't ever. I don't remember what I did last time to be able to copy it. So I mean, you remember the techniques, you just hardly ever do the same thing twice, which is good. Um, as you can see, I did this this one just a little bit ago uh, in 3 minutes 24 seconds as you can see right there. Um, so this just real quick, you get them done. Um, and the only reason it took me that long is because my computer froze and I didn't feel like it, it probably was like too... 35 but that's beside the point so you create them real quick um, and yeah so let's just get into this um, one thing I want you guys to do before you uh, or like after you watch this video or whatever is check out two other tutorials uh, one is Sesso's tutorial I click through this uh, I th he recently released this is pretty cool um, how he uses shapes to do his backings and then Rated's tutorial, which I watched uh, like a year ago when it came out, uh, which is a really good tutorial. His way is very good as well. Um, but I think if you watch the three of our tutorials, you'll have making backings down pretty well. So I'm going to create a new uh, file here, 2080 or 1280 by 720, 300 resolution. I'm just going to oh, get rid of that. Oops. And I'm going to double click on the uh, new layer, the blocked layer, uh, to unlock it. Control I to make it black if it's white. And I'm going to control U on that black layer, check colorize, add a little bit of lightness, add a little bit of saturation, and I'm going to go ahead for a purplish blue look. And click OK. And the first thing that I always do is filter, render, clouds on a new layer. As you can see, I created a new layer, then did that. Um, and then I set that to overlay, decrease the opacity. somewhere in the teens 13 that'll work and yeah then create a new layer go to the brush I don't want that brush I want a soft brush at about 600 pixels in size and make sure I'm on white and I'm just gonna click in three spots and set that to overlay decrease the opacity just a bit not too much just a bit so maybe 90 there we go and now this is where things get interesting now, this is why you can be so quick so basically you just need to pick a few brushes that you want to use uh, so if you don't have a lot of brushes just go and download a bunch of brushes doesn't even matter what they look like I go for paint splatterish brushes if you know what I mean so like they uh, look like paint splatters it's exactly what it hurt it sounds like but um I usually rock a few of those so like boom boom and boom and I go to filter blur Gaussian blur and you can go for a little bit so you can still see the outline or you can go a lot of bit so it's kind of just like a blid, big smudge uh, I like to go for a little bit so you can see the outlining gives it some cool detail and set it to overlay and just decrease the opacity a bit or and like you can do the step multiple times and change opacities so you get varying results which is pretty cool um, and I'm going to create a new layer and do it again with a different brush. So let's see what else we have. Um, I'm not sure. What would that? This would be pretty cool. I'll go with it. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Yeah, sure. Set that to overlay. And I'm just going to erase parts of it. So like, boom, boom, boom. Adds a little bit of texture here. Not much, but it's pretty cool. I like it. And I just want a little more. This time, uh, I'm going to add something that's less sharp. So maybe something like this. Decrease the opacity a bit. Oops. Or decrease the size. And boom. Boom. Maybe a little bit there. Filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. A little less. We'll go about five. Okay overlay and we'll keep it like that so boom texture um, there's a few things here that I want to point out uh, I added this pink here that's simply just adding another texture with some color 
you can freely do that as many times as you want. Um, I also added like a bit of light up here and that's just using the same technique, just a lot more blur and then putting it at the top to create kind of like a light effect down. Um, but the thing I'm going to show you is the square thing, which is also in Rated's tutorial. But if we select all these, Command E to merge them, Control J to duplicate, go to Filter, Pixelate, Mosaic, 30 cell size, OK, Filter, Stylize, Find Edges, Command I to inverse. And this is actually a technique by Evan Eckerd. Uh, he created this. Uh, and then we want to set that on Linear Dodge. And then we just want to get the eraser tool and erase out some of the parts that we don't want. So I usually erase a lot of it and then decrease the opacity by a bit. I don't like to rock a lot of it because I know Rated Rot used a lot of it in his stuff and I want mine to have its own look. Um, but you can freely do whatever you want. Um, so that's looking pretty good. Uh, one thing that I did uh, screw up on, I'd say, is the light spots are really separated and it kind of doesn't complete the image if you know what I mean um, this would have been like connected here if there would have been a white spot there that would have been uh, like connecting these two or maybe these three that would have probably made the picture look, look a little more complete uh, I'm gonna see if I can fix that quick by just adding a little white spludge there um, something like boom boom overlay and no, I'm not gonna get anything I want but that's not why I screwed up there and obviously since it's such a quick method you can keep retrying if you screw up and just get various results uh, I've started to notice that I save most of the ones I make just in case I want to use them in the future um, but yeah that's basically this whole tutorial like I can this one came out a lot better and if you notice I have a few examples here from my free pack that I just released that are a lot better and if you notice, one thing I, I also did in these is added patterns, uh, which is something you can do. Um, I think I have some patterns saved. So if I go here, pattern, let's see if I have one that's cool. Okay, this will work. Set that to overlay. And now you can't really see it. Try a different one. This one's cool. So if you want to add like cool textures, have them involved, something like that. I don't know. You can play around. Um, but like, yeah, this technique I've noticed is probably my favorite of the ones that I've seen. I, I haven't really seen Sesso's. I didn't really watch that. Uh, but Rated's technique, I used that for a while and I just prefer mine. I think it's quicker. Um, he uses a lot of filters and things, which I think I'm going to start to incorporate a little more of like filters that I like. Um, but just using brushes, various brushes, I'm trying to think or trying to do more with this every day. So just keep experimenting with this. I hope it helps you. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if this gets 100 likes, I'll release a little pack of maybe 25 of these for you to download. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you next time. Peace.